In today's video, we shall discuss about eukaryotic RNA polymerases. But before that, do subscribe to my channel and let me know your opinions and suggestions in the comment box. Eukaryotic cells have three different types of RNA polymerases, known as RNA pole 1, RNA pole 2, and RNA pole 3. These enzymes are responsible for transcribing different classes of RNA molecules in eukaryotic cells. The three eukaryotic RNA polymerases have different functions and are regulated by different mechanisms, which allows for fine-tuning of gene expression in response to changing cellular needs. So the three main eukaryotic RNA polymerases are RNA polymerase 1, RNA polymerase 2, and RNA polymerase 3. We shall first see about RNA polymerase 1. RNA polymerase 1 is located in the nucleolus, a specialized nuclear substructure in which ribosomal RNA is transcribed, processed, and assembled into ribosomes. RNA polymerase 1 is a multi subunit enzyme responsible for transcribing ribosomal RNA genes in eukaryotic cells. RNA polymerase 1 is a 590 kilo Dalton enzyme, which contains 14 protein subunits. 10 subunits out of them are involved in the formation of the core. RPB5, RPB6, RPB8, RPB10, RPB12, A190, A135, AC40, AC19, and A122. The five subunits RPB5, RPB6, RPB8, RPB10, and RPB12 also occur in RNA polymerase 2 and 3 as well. The H pole 1 and the yeast pole 1 has similar counterparts with an additional yeast specific subunit. A14. Pole 1 requires no Tata box in the promoter, instead relying on an upstream control element located between minus 200 and minus 107, and a core element located between minus 45 and plus 20. UBF recruits and binds a protein complex called SL1 in humans, or TIF-IB in mouse, composed of the Tata binding protein, TBP, and three TBP-associated factors, TAFs. Pole 1 binds to the UBF SL1 complex via RRN3, TIF IA, and transcription starts. The diagram here shows the transcription done by RNA polymerase 1. Moving on to RNA polymerase 2. RNA polymerase 2 is a multiprotein complex that transcribes DNA into precursors of messenger RNA and most small nuclear RNA and microRNA. It is a 550 kilo Dalton complex with 12 subunits. The largest subunit of pole 2 is RPB1. Other subunits are RPB2, RPB3, RPB4, RPB5, RPB6, RPB7, RPB8, RPB9, RPB10, RPB11, and RPB12. Transcription initiation begins with the formation of a closed promoter complex, which contains the 10 subunit pole 2 core, the pole 2 subcomplex RPB47, and the transcription factors TF2D, which includes the Tata box binding protein TBP and TBP associated factors TF2B, TF2E, TF2F, and TF2H. The diagram here shows the structure of RNA polymerase 2 and transcription by RNA polymerase 2. RNA polymerase 3 is a multi subunit enzyme responsible for transcribing a variety of small non coding RNAs in eukaryotic cells including transfer RNA, 5S ribosomal RNA, and some small nuclear RNAs. RNA polymerase 3 is the largest eukaryotic RNA polymerase. The structure of pole 3 is composed of 17 subunits. RNAP3 functions together with three transcription factors, TF3A, TF3B, and TF3C. TF3A is a single protein and is specific for transcription only of the 5S RNA gene. RDN5. In addition to the core, pole 3 contains five specific subunits forming two subcomplexes, C3753 and C8234 or 31. The C3753 subcomplex participates in promoter opening, transcription termination, and polymerase reinitiation. The C34 subunit of the C8234 31 subcomplex plays a role in open complex formation and in recruiting pole 3 to the pre initiation complex through interaction with TF2B, related factor 1. Figure here shows the structure of RNA polymerase 3 and transcription by RNA polymerase 3. RNA polymerase 4 and 5. 
They are exclusively found in plants. RNA polymerase 4 and 5 are transcription enzymes that evolved as specialized forms of RNA polymerase 2. Both enzymes produce small interfering RNA transcripts, which play a role in the silencing of plant genes. Inhibition with alpha ammonitin. Alpha ammonitin produced by Ammonita phylloides, the death cap mushroom, affects the three polymerases very differently. RNA polymerase 1 is completely insensitive to alpha ammonitin. RNA polymerase 2 is extremely sensitive to alpha ammonitin. RNA polymerase 3 is moderately sensitive. Now we shall have a comparison between RNA polymerase 1, 2, and 3. The similarities are that they are three different types of eukaryotic RNA polymerases and are involved in the transcription of genes into various types of RNA. They have common subunits other than alpha-like subunits. Each RNA polymerase contains three to seven unique smaller subunits. They are DNA-dependent RNA polymerases. They do not require a primer for the initiation of the polymerization. They add RNA nucleotides in the 5' prime to 3' prime direction, linking them through the formation of phosphodiester bonds. Now the differences are in the types of RNA transcribed. RNA polymerase 1 transcribes rRNA, RNA polymerase 2 transcribes mRNA, and RNA polymerase 3 transcribes transfer RNA, 5S ribosomal RNA, and some small nuclear RNAs. Location inside the nucleus. RNA polymerase 1 is located in nucleolus, RNA polymerase 2 is located in nucleoplasm, and RNA polymerase 3 is located in nucleoplasm. In terms of molecular weight, RNA polymerase 1 is 590 kilo Dalton, RNA polymerase 2 is 550 kilo Dalton, and RNA polymerase 3 is almost 700 kilo Dalton. Number of subunits in RNA polymerase 1 is 14, in RNA polymerase 2 is 12, and in RNA polymerase 3 is 17. With respect to the alpha-like subunit, eukaryotic DNA-dependent RNA polymerases, pol 1 and 3, encode two distinct alpha-like heterodimers where one is shared between pol 1 and pol 3, and the other is unique to pol 2. Another difference is in the inhibition with alpha ammonitin. RNA polymerase 1 is completely insensitive to alpha ammonitin. RNA polymerase 2 is extremely sensitive to alpha ammonitin, and RNA polymerase 3 is moderately sensitive.